Okay, so I think I'm going to title this one er Erectional Dysfunction <laughs> and somewhat and not somewhat for the reasons. So um, let's go. Um, I, I mentioned about my friend and um, we have a, a, a peculiar history, not a, like a history history, but we've known each other for quite a few years now in the industry and uh, we're always able to make each other laugh. We always feel able to feel comfortable, you know, safe around each other. If we are, or if we're at a function, it's one of those things that's really easy just to kind of go up to each other and hang out for a while, if not for most of the night, because we just get each other. It's just a nice thing to have happen. Although it, it has gotten um, packed off and strained um, lately, and partly because of the story I'm going to tell, but but it, I mean it shouldn't be because of the story. It just it just has. She's made so much more effort than I have, and um, and. Uh, Diana, I owe you an apology for lack of effort on my part. Um, saying I've been going through a few things, you know, never really cuts it. I have been, and I haven't shared those things with you, but same token, um, you, you've been um, a good friend, so I just want to, it's on tape, and um, hopefully you'll, you're one of the ones I think that might find this, um, or get it, maybe I'll even send it, who knows. So, um, I'm going to tell the story of um, a bit about our relationship and that so we, we started out and we, we just chatted a few times on sets doing background and um, you, know, you know when you can make someone laugh and they can make you laugh and it, it, it's just a natural warmth that it develops between people that are of similar minds or like minds or even if they're not exactly the same minds they like what they see in the other person and, and that makes it easy so um, so, you know, that's kind of how it started. So as the years went by, we did some stuff together. And they always have these award banquets each year, which, um, you know, when I first started out, I thought it would be important to go to them. And I, I went to the first three or four. I uh, don't even know how many I went to. And then uh, the last couple of years, I, you know, I, I pretty much always asked for their free tickets. They, they give out, you know, applied for free tickets. And I'd always been lucky, and then I would share one with, say, her or another friend or whatever. If she already had one, and won one as well. And you know, sometimes she'd bring her children and stuff. And um, so yeah, so we went into hanging out and having you know a laugh at the show and production and meeting people and taking the pictures that you do, you know, and get little pictures against the wall to show you were there, that kind of stuff. We have quite a few of those with each other as well. Um, if we are there ever ever there together, we'd always make sure that we found each other during those pictures. We'd have some with others, but definitely some with each other because we just like to you know, share share those moments that we could send to each other and laugh about later. Um, so anyways, so she you know, kept making an effort and one of the, my reservations wasn't her, I mean, beautiful, but young woman. And I'm not gonna say but, but it is a but because you know, when, when you're an older guy, you tend to not want to be a creepy older guy and it's not like she's young young I mean when I met her she was probably I'll go back on years now because I know she's I'm quite sure she's a well, I shouldn't say her age but let's say she's out of her 30s actually she should get mad at me if I don't say that because she's just into her 40s <laughs> so I knew her probably the last five or six years I probably knew her in her mid 30s which would have put me in my um, early 50s um, when I knew her um, so, but, so, but to me, that's still a lot of years. So I didn't understand why she actually even liked me <laughs> or was attracted to me that way. I always thought friendship I got, I understood why we clicked because of our sense of humor and stuff. Because she's probably quite over the top, but I just found it great, wonderful, a lot alive. She's a very alive person, a lot of personality. And, um, and I can be pretty silly sometimes too when I get going. So anyways, um, we were at one of these functions and that, and, and we're having a good time. And from that, um, I know that she, you know, she started to maybe think of me along maybe potentially another more progressive line. <laughs> so we start, you know, a couple emails here and chats, and um, you know, some of her emails made it kind of clear. Some, yeah, I won't. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm not saying it. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, so she, she started posting these boat cruises and being part of, you know, hosting them and that and getting people out. So she taught me into going. First one I went to was, you know, fine, I had a good time. Um, I, I've, I've, I've kind of wound down over the years. I, I stay away from all 
hard liquor, even wine now. Uh, I drink beer because it just takes a while to get down and keep control of it, keep yourself under control. I never was into drugs anyways. So I can go there and have a few beer. I'm, you know, six feet, 205 pounds. I should probably around 200 right now. I think I'm down a few pounds now. And, you know, so I can, I can put back a few beer, no problem. In fact, I grew up on beer. That was, uh, you know, the, that was the thing of my era. My dad was a fireman and, you know, he drank beer and he was happy to meet for me to drink beer and, and stay away from things like pot that were just coming of age when I was young. So, um, so yeah, so my body's been used to it forever. As a matter of fact, I think it would feel, I'd probably feel like something was missing, not even realizing it if I didn't have a beer for a few days because, you know, I like to have a couple a day, and, but a spread out is over breakfast or lunch or dinner. I could, you know, some way, oh, I have three beer today. Yeah, but I mean, I had the first one at, noon and had the last one at nine <laughs> like so basically not even enough to send you to the bathroom <laughs> let's move back let's move on from that so so we're having i went to this one and then i had an awkward time getting home because unfortunately the timing of these things is they're downtown i know i'm gonna have a couple beers can't afford to drink and drive and lose my license obviously for any reason let alone i'm a truck driver so obviously i can't you know that'd be my livelihood if i was suspended <clears throat> so you know I'll take transit but then when you get out of those things the boat comes back after transit's finished you can't get home <laughs> well unless you want to spend 60 80 bucks on a cab or whatever you know that's have a truck driver trying to make ends meet you know that kind of money or after already spending time on the boat where you pay for your boat and you pay for your drinks and stuff you know it's just no way I could do it so um she set me up for a ride home with someone and and it was kind of funny because it turns out this person didn't realize where I lived and then and then they had to go somewhere first so I ended up at some not a house party but a house with a few people in it and you know he was there to kind of hit on one of the ladies there <laughs> like oh this isn't gonna work out but he was true to his word eventually he got me home <laughs> but I was like <coughs> I don't think I'll do that again well you know never say never she talked me into coming again another time and I went and this time she was a little more attentive and and uh, we kind of arranged that um, she wanted me to come you know come back to her place afterwards so I thought oh this is the night it's gonna happen and uh, you know I was like geez I'm not sure but you know we'll just see how it goes and we had a nice night but you know again she was mostly hosting and, and there was um, lots of other people that she was giving you know lots of attention to which is fine and I'm, I'm happy with that I just milling around the boat and talking to different people and chilling, having my few beer. And I was quite content. So I always would go back to her place and you know, I'm thinking, hmm, I wonder. Because <laughs> she'd scared me a few times with her emails about if things happened, how I might have trouble keeping up. But I was thinking, yeah, <laughs> I might have trouble keeping up. Uh, you know, I'm not a young spruce anymore. And she's definitely a vibrant person. So, uh, <laughs> So I started this with uh, a comment, uh, and so anyways, I, you know, I have a, I have what calls grave disease, a thyroid issue. So I, you know, I, I have a problem with my uh, thermostat, basically your thermostat, which is right, by, right below your voice box. And I've had a radiation treatment for it to hope it. And um, so it does affect you. And so anyways, um, because of that, I get, I'm allowed prescriptions for things because, you know, my, with my, blood drops too low obviously I can faint if it pumps up too high obviously I can, my heart could be racing too fast which is what was happening when it was overactive it was really racing before the treatment and I almost died actually I'll do that in another story sometime because there is a story there too <laughs> but um yeah so so I said oh what what the hell you know I've got these things so I, I popped a pill that earlier that evening because it takes a while because of my blood and the way it works and my body's you know, the way it's flowing, things go either slower or faster, and I could tell it's going to be a slower day because I was kind of lethargic. So, you know, I'm I'm feeling a little bit, of, you know, if nothing else, a little like someone on your shoulder. Don't worry, man, when we get you covered, <laughs> we'll be there for you. <laughs> so it's just reassuring when I'm thinking I've been told it might be an all-nighter. <laughs> so we go back there, and it's pissing down rain and that. Um, but I'd taken transit down, and she had brought her car. And uh, so, you know, we go back to her place. She has a beautiful place. So we're, um, 
we're chatting and stuff and then she says oh I got a text from my daughter hang on a second I gotta go answer this and phone her so she phones her because she you know she says a daughter and the daughter was staying with her ex for the night and then for whatever reason she comes back and says oh you know problem this problem that my daughter's coming back home you know and then um, she says that if she comes back home well she'll probably she's upset she'll probably sleep with me so you know like sorry but hey, what we talked about is off <laughs> Yeah, I wish I hadn't taken the pill first. <laughs> so anyways, the other thing about those pills is they give you energy, right? So I, you know, tried to fall asleep. I can't remember if it was on the couch or side room. I think it was on the couch. So I tried to go to sleep and, you know, daughter arrived and they, they whisked off to her room and stuff. And I'm like... <laughs> I think I passed out for a couple of hours, but somewhere around, I don't know, four or five in the morning, I'm totally wide awake sitting there on the couch thinking I, don't, I can't wait till like 8, 9, 10 just to be sociable before I leave uh, the hell with this, she'll never you know I'm gone so I you know, get myself organized and out the door I go now remember I took transit so I hadn't bothered bringing things like an umbrella <laughs> I got, you know, semi dress clothes, I think it was um I was like, it was what I kind of like wearing now. Is it was no, no, not the shirt, but it was like, um, uh, what do you call it? Army clothes, you know. Anyways, I got a pair of those pants on. So, um, you know, uh, camouflage. So here, yeah, I'll just do a quick one down there. So, you know, it's like camouflage and clothes. And I had worn. I don't like wearing all of it, although I realized afterwards a lot of people had. But you know, I went with the theme, and so I had you know, like the shirt and. The, I actually have a, a windbreaker as well, you know, so I, I had to look. I had enough of the look anyways. And then I think I put on just like dockers or something. Yeah, they were dockers because they got really wet. So I'm out there walking in the middle of the morning before the buses run, before the trains run. I'm getting soaking wet and thinking this is a bad idea. <laughs> but now, by now I'm about a mile or two from the house trying to find a bus stop or whatever to wait at, you know, all the cover. And um, this bird, which she she lives in a place that's not totally isolated, but it's not. It's, it's a neighborhood. It's, you still got to get out of the neighborhood. You got to get down to the main streets, and then most of the main streets didn't have these type of covers. Plus, I didn't even know if it was the right one. You'd be surprised though. There was people out. <laughs> so I was able to ask a few people, and they were like, "Oh yeah, no, the first one will be like 5:15 or 5:30, whatever it was, and that'll get you down." down to you know another area where you'll transfer a bus to across the bridge once you're across the bridge then you can walk from there to a train and the trains will be running by then <laughs> so what else happened well so i'm walking along rain's hitting me i'm getting cold and um bill's totally kicked in <laughs> uh, so life's irony is that so I'm trying to hide, you know, doing the old up, up the side of the pants where the jacket that I had, you know, as low as I could. <laughs> Try not to um, face anyone when I'm talking to them. <laughs> uh, I got home and I thought, you know, I don't think this is meant to be. I think this this was meant to be. The, the cock up <laughs> was meant to be. Say this, so to speak, and um, you know, so I go up and she talked to her, and she got a good laugh out of the fact that she because she meant no, I didn't go over it, and I'm honest at her, so <laughs> she's laughing, saying, So, you guys soaking wet, your cold was cold morning, too. <coughs> you're walking around for her, <laughs> and she's like, Sorry, not, <laughs> anyways. So, from there, we decided we'd just be friends, and then it sort of step back a bit and now she's doing another thing where she hosts uh, comedy spots and stuff she's asked me to kind of step up and do something and i haven't yet um mine's more stories and, and the crowd's you know, very small and she's bringing in a lot of friends they're all really talented people so some of them are singers some of them are comedians you know they're musicians so there's different people but that's basically the crowd too so you know if i go up there and try to tell a story like this i Probably have everyone going, oh, let's see, ever get a hand, I want to go to sleep. <laughs> so, um, yeah, for, for me to have a chance, i got to get the right kind of crowd. All right, so there's a little new story. Um, yeah. So, take care.